what's up what's up what's up as you can see got the beanie on man what it says one love one heart one destiny you know feel me got this was 25 dollars man i haven't worn beanie since ooh, high school bro and like now i'm in college man i bought a beanie again like back then bro i used to wear a beanie only because i had uh, I was like insecure of my hair, but now it's like I can wear it and still look good with my, you know, my locks. You know, my locks actually gives me my confidence I need. But like, bro, when I had an afro, bro, the confidence went down, bro. My confidence went down. But um, yeah, we're good, bro. We're good. But um, yeah, man, it's uh the twenty sixth, bro. It passed Christmas, but I don't even say belated. You know, Merry Christmas to all you guys. Hope you guys had a good, great Thanksgiving um as of right now my videos are going slow and steady for this channel um like i said this is more based of presenting my story if that makes sense um eventually i'll start using my actual cameras to start recording my content um as of right now the cameras that i do use don't record in 4k they actually record in 1080p um in 60 fps which is not bad but like you know we we want a crisp quality, you feel me? Like, we, we, we want that. Um, But, yeah, I've been working a lot on different... Not really... Okay, I won't lie. Let me stop lying. I wasn't really working a lot on a few things because I kept um, I kept getting overwhelmed over the content I wanted to try to do for myself and try to grow. Um, But I feel like I need to take my time and put a little bit of effort into it and, and put more effort into one thing, which is God, man. Um, many of y'all don't know on this channel, I am a believer in Christ. Um, one thing I would say, I am an Israelite. Um, even though it was Christmas yesterday, I personally don't celebrate Christmas only because um, God was not born on Christmas. Everybody keeps saying that. And I've been raised to believe that when I was little. Um, but yeah. All thanks to King Messiah, he told me about it. Um, he said he also sent me a video on everything as well. But he told me before Christmas even came around for 2023. But um, yeah, I'm a big believer in Christ. And I always want to try to, you know, find my way around that. And I feel like content creation kind of took me away from that. So that's why now I'm going back to these little videos where I'm just recording myself and just kind of, you know, showing off everything that's going on you know so uh yeah bro i literally like how this beanie bro is bro i haven't worn a beanie in a while and like bro when i tell you beanies were like my thing back then bro like beanies were my thing like i will wear them to go to bed wear them when i go work out go to go to do some uh anything bro just anything like i'll wear it not to the shower though that's 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 that's, that's pushing it that's pushing it but um yeah so 2024 is around the corner um which is um a big thing because that means new year new things new achievements new goals and everything and i feel like i'm gonna shut up i'm going to shut up this year um i feel like i know what i need to do and i know what i need to establish for this year or for the next year coming. Um, most definitely next year I'm getting my permit. Um, hands down I'm getting my permit. I told myself I was gonna get the permit uh, this year, but I keep failing at it. But next year I will most definitely get that permit. I have enough time. Um, that's one thing on my list, but I won't push myself to just, you know, go for it, but I will tell myself to study um, to get it. And, um, grind money to get the camera i need to be able to record my cinematics my films bro like i'm a and a photographer and photography like i'm a photographer filmmaker bro like i love doing films man like um if you don't know my biggest inspiration is uh megan mega um she's she's so dope bro like her films are what inspired me and also paper town like i told you on the last little personal blog um oh, i didn't even say in the intro welcome back to a personal blog bro <laughs> but um yeah man like those type of things like that like those people inspire me you know to make films and i you know want to push myself not push myself but like 
get myself to that point to be able to, you know, then go all out. Cause right now, you know, I'm just kind of chilling. Um, actually I've been chilling my whole life, but as of right now, I'm, I'm just chilling, trying to get the information I need. And then once I see the, when I see what I could get, I can get it. Um, as of right now, I'm looking into like lenses, some cameras to get, I already have two cameras, but I feel like for those cameras, I need to upgrade the lens. And that's pretty much what I want to aim for is getting the body camera with the body camera is the easiest part to get. The hardest part is getting the actual lens you really need. Um, my dream camera is the FX30 or the FX3 Sony. Um, it was the Z on um, the Sony ZV1. No, not the Sony ZV1. I think it's Sony ZV1. Yeah, it's Sony ZV1, right? I think so. Um, because it's like it can shoot in like net and Netflix quality. Like y'all know what I'm talking about, but um, yeah, for the for the filmmakers out there, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's pretty much my gene camera. It was the S A seven four, but I feel like you know I am I'm a, I am a Sony guy. You know, I always got I always had to go for things that is you know popular on the market like Apple and all that stuff. But I feel like when it comes to Androids, I'm kind of more of a I'm an Android user instead of an iPhone user. I don't really like Android, but at the same time, iPhone is kind of the new thing. And that kind of is based around um, iOS. So kind of, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, um, not really much. You know, we're six minutes in. Um, I, oh, yeah, that's right. So you can see right there in the uh, background, I got like some fragrance, not fragrances, but... Uh, some uh some hygiene products so as you can see my skin is kind of glowing in the camera a bit so i got a oil a body oil for myself bro i smell fantastic i smell magnificent like you guys don't understand you walk up to me hold on well <laughs> well why do i look like that bro but like if, if like you smelling right now, like no homo, but bro, I smell like vanilla. That's what my brother said. My brother smell, I smell like vanilla. I, I think I smell like vanilla. I smell good. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like I'm so glad I purchased it. I finally got native products, bro. Um, I was trying to get, you know, native, um, what you call it? I was trying to get the native product, which is the coconut vanilla the body wash but i couldn't get it and i couldn't also find the native deodorant for the coconut vanilla canoe i'll try to go for all vanilla coconut to smell good um but you know sadly it wasn't there and it wasn't in there so you know i had to or find my way around so i actually got a um olive green tea deodorant which is native and it's aluminum free which is good um i put it you know under there and i smell so good um and then like uh i got a instead of native i got state of native body wash i got a uh what do you call it ivory i think it's called but it's really good and it's vanilla as well coconut vanilla and then i got soap um dove soap and that one is also vanilla so what i do is now which is my new routine it's kind of not kind of but i do uh, so my new routine now is to use the body soap first and then I, you know, wash everything down and then I go in again with the second wash, which is my body wash. And then I, you know, wash everything down. And then there's another thing, but I didn't buy. I feel like that was a little bit too much. Um, but in general, we end up getting out of the shower and then we put on the body oil uh, once your body is completely dry. You could put it on when your body is like wet too, but like I feel like it's kind of better when it's dry, uh, because it's supposed to keep the moisture and everything on your body. Um, and then after that, put on the underwear and brush my teeth. I finally, bro, got a um tongue scraper, and like I finally got um peroxide, hydrogen perox, hydrogen peroxide. I forgot how to say it. I used to use it a lot. But it's supposed to help with your gums and your teeth and stuff. This kind, this tooth looks weird. It's only because like I had to get a surgery on this, so that's the only reason why this looks worse than the others. 
Um, trust me, I, I brush my teeth, but I do need to do better. I don't brush it at night and I need to work on that. That's like my biggest flaw when it comes to like, you know, hygiene. It's like, I cannot brush my teeth. I mean, I can, but I'm just lazy to do it. Um, and I also want to work on trying to take showers before I go to sleep too, because I just kind of just wash up, uh, put cold water on my face, go in the shower and then I'm done. And then I go to bed and stuff. So yeah, man, that's pretty much, that's pretty much how like my routine goes now. Cause I did it today. So gotta be kind of brand no, but no, my bye. And yeah, man, yeah. Um, let me see. I don't know what I'll do for the next video. I might try to do something different, something random. Um, but this is kind of me coming back. I haven't, you know, did videos on this channel, like personal blogs since for a year. And now I'm back doing it. And I'm happy, bro. I'm so happy I'm, I came back to doing it because like, I feel like it's kind of, no, I feel like it's a good thing to do for me because I'm trying to do all these things that I don't need to do. And eventually in the future, I look back on these videos and I just be like, man, I can't believe it. Like we're like up here and I'm just waiting for, you know, you know, many other people to say, it, but I'm just also waiting for that moment. Like as soon as everything pops off, then boom, man, what? Boom. You know, I just go right into it, you know? The only person who could stop you is the only person that could stop you is you, man. And like, I feel like, you know, I got to be the one to be able to destroy that virus inside my mind to be able to achieve what I need to make or to achieve what I need to do. Um, and which I will, it's just going to take time. It's going to take time. But the, you know, the products that I have right now, I could definitely use. Um, when I first started filmmaking, this was actually, no, I make a separate video on this, on filmmaking, on the cameras I used, um, because, you know, those are pretty much my babies, but I am giving one away because, you know, um, one of my, you know, friends, he, um, he does films, not films, but like he does kind of cinematic shots on his page and he talks about Jesus and all that stuff and Christianity and all that. And uh, I feel like he deserves this camera that I about to give him it is the Sony ZV-E1 um, F. It's, it's new, um, but I honestly wanted to upgrade from it because it was lacking a lot of features. But I feel like for him, you know, he's starting off big. I mean, starting off on his channel, he has like 400 subs, which is phenomenal, man. For getting 400 subs is hard. And knowing me um, right now, I'm so close to 500 um, on my other channel. Um, actually, no, I should have a camera. This is the camera I'm giving him. Um, his name is Chris. Um, you can also check his channel out in the description, which I will, um, put down there. But yeah, he's a dope kid, man. Um, talented, you know, his faith is like strong, bro. Like, right now, like we don't see it, but like from how he talks to his friends and everything, and how he talks to his audience, I feel like he has a strong faith for God. And I feel like, you know, I'm gonna give him a gift, you know for him to continue making content because man wanted a camera for a long <laughs> man wanted a camera man's wanted a camera for the longest and you know he's gonna get it man he's gonna get it i put the i put a uh what do you call this the die pro tempered glass on there so he's set you know he won't be like you can see that it's uh clear oh you can see my face on him uh, let me see Oh, there we go. Oh, but um, I didn't growl, bro. I didn't growl. Okay, hold on. I didn't growl. I just I say, oh, that's what I was doing. Like he'd be like cheese, Ooh, cheese, like something like that. Okay, I had to defend myself. <laughs> I had to defend myself because no, bro. Because I don't like. Because imagine that I do kind of pop off on this channel as people just look back on my old videos and be like, did he just growl? I'm like, no, bro. I didn't growl. 
like if somebody from my old videos come back to this and remember this rem like put in my comment sections in my future videos um and be like oh you remember the video that you growled <laughs> i'm gonna I'm immediately pin your comment i'm not gonna lie if you say that um but yeah let me give him that camera it's been 15 minutes already dang yeah man like most of these talks would more likely be like 30 minutes long or like a lot i mean you know yeah uh, let me see. I hung out with my friend today as well from college, uh, Travis. Yeah, he was dope. It was dope. Dope hangout. Um, I wanted him to take me to the store so I could get some hygiene, but I spent a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. Came out to $98, and then we was at also Concord Mills, and we also went out. We went to eat, and I got this beanie, and then we also got food, which I already said, and... I'm at like forty dollars, and I was like at one hundred eighty-five. Yeah, money went away, bro. I got like what, no forty-two, and I also get paid. So it's kind of a win-win. Like I, like, is so I got. I don't know how to really explain it, but like I feel like I could have did better. But at the same time, I knew no money's coming in. I could save my, you know, my forty-two dollars. I'll be straight. I'll be good. Just one downside. He want to go to Winterfest, but I, nah, I'm not going. I'm not going anymore. Um, but he can have fun at Winterfest though. Um stuff yeah so um yeah um i just wanted to hop on here and record a video before i end up hitting the hay sack because i gotta go to work um in the afternoon i gotta go to work at two and then the game starts at five and then it ends at ten so yeah man i work security at bank of america bro Whoa. Put that down, man. That's devil signs, man. That's devil signs. I'm just so used to it because, like, I used to do it a lot, and I used to actually like rock music. Rock music is good, but it's just certain times I won't listen to. But, um, yeah, that's the devil. I, I don't know why I did that. Um, my fault. I'm just so used to doing it and everything. But, uh, yeah, what else can I talk about? Is it right now? Oh, yeah. Look at this, bro. Uh, no, I don't want to show that. I mean, I kind of seen it a little bit, but I don't want to show it. Man, freak it. Because this is... So I told you I wanted to keep my personal college life personal, but nobody won't really see this. And about time, like, people start seeing these videos, I might be already out of college. So here it is. This is the school I go to. I got this for Christmas, actually. I put it on immediately when um i got it i saw it i was like oh put it on fit well fit well um let me know if you guys like the beanie man i mean i'm kind of i'm kind of digging it low key i'm kind of i'm actually liking it um it's dope it's snuggly it's um it's comfy and like you see for me i could be able to put the flap down i can't put the flap all the way up here then it'd be looking like this no <laughs> no bro no, but yeah. Come on. But I ain't got my glasses. You know, you see, you saw me with my glasses in the other videos. But now it's like, it's different. So in a way, um, videos are definitely different, man. The time, it's like I took a time skip. So now like you saw me when I was younger. Now you see me when I'm older. It's only one year time skip. That's all. <laughs> it's only one year. Um... But yeah, man, it's, it's, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Um, making these content, these type of videos and everything and stuff. Um, eventually, you start seeing more creative type content, man. I can't wait to do it. Um, I'm just trying to build this channel up slowly. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. I mean, because 2023 threw up. It's, it's hard, man. It's going to be hard making content. And especially the things that's going on in this world, bro, is crazy. Like, I'm not surprised if, you know, crazy things start going on, like, even more in 2024. Like, to be honest with you, I be, I best believe in 2027 there'll be a zombie apocalypse. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like eventually there is, bro. The amount of craziness that's going on and the amount of creepy things. And, oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. Bro, the, the, um, 
Actually, yeah, yeah, cause I can make these videos long, I and mean, it doesn't matter, it doesn't care. Um, it's the uh Epstein list. I forgot what it's called. Now, remind you, it is December twenty sixth, and it is eleven o'clock p.m. Bro, they said January the first, the list is coming out of all the celebrities. Supposedly, the person of the list um was a you know a grape and all that stuff. I don't know what all that is, but I've been seeing it all of my for you page on TikTok, which is why I hate on being on TikTok because people just love, love, love spewing out stupid content. And sometimes the content is good, sometimes the content is not. And I believe that sometimes content shouldn't be made um on TikTok because people will take it seriously, just like the TikTok shop, because I did buy something from TikTok shop. And um, it was like $2 that I bought from TikTok shop. It's a razor so I can shave the side of my beards and like make make sure I look, you know, I look more neat instead of looking so, eh, you know, all over the place and hairy and stuff. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. But um, yeah, man, Um, what else I want to say? That's right. Leave Us Behind. That movie, Low Key. That movie is kind of good. The movie is good. The, okay, so the reason why I'm saying it's good, not not okay, not good, but decent. It's a decent movie to watch. But I feel like if you're a filmmaker, I feel like you should watch the film because you know it gives you more of a aspect of how shots are created. Like the one scene, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Like the one scene in the movie where the ship came onto the beach and the kids and the parents started running. And I was all like, that's an amazing shot. And they were also doing like zoom in shots to like, I don't know how to do it, but um, it was just like, it was like this. Not like this, but you know, you know what I mean? How can I reset this? Oh, you know, they was doing zoom in shots and I find it very creative because like, not very creative, kind of very interesting because not a lot of people do that. And when it comes to films, um, films is really based on how you can get the audience attention. And I feel like for me, as my little dream or as my little hobby, I feel like I have to figure out what makes the audience want to watch my films and watch my creative stories because my name is not the world of Isaiah for no reason. I want people to know things that I go through and kind of tell a story about my life and then show it out to y'all, uh, which is kind of scary. Not going to lie. It's, it's kind of scary, but I am going to show how things work. I'm not how things work, but how things are um, in my struggles in life and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, man. But yeah, and then people was also saying like Leave Us Behind was like all the parents, all the people didn't listen to the little girl and the people died. I was like, what? So I'm sitting there looking at the movie. I was like, oh, is he about to die? And then they didn't. I was just like, what? And then the ending, it did kind of piss me off. I'm not going to lie because it's like the little girls are watching Friends. It's like, what? <laughs> I mean, makes sense, but not really, but like at the same time, like, so we eventually know that the little girl was found, I guess, but it kind of does leave you off on a cliffhanger because the parent, the mom was close. And like, this is what I don't understand. Is that the black guy, bro? Why the black people, bro, the black guy, personally me, I wouldn't be in that situation. I'm going to be honest. If the guy told me he was going to leave, I'm leaving, bro. The way how the black guy walk up to the white guy and he, the white guy had a shotgun. Man, no. Man, no. I was just like, you gotta be joking. Like, I'm just looking at him like, no, you're not. Like, you are not gonna just walk up there be like, we're not going nowhere. I'm gonna wait for you. Like, what? What do you mean you won't wait? Well, not really wait for you, but like wait until you get because the kid was sick and the, the kid had his teeth falling out. He was throwing up. Like I was just like, it, and I already knew the kid was sick because he got bit by that tick and everything. But I guess it was because of the sirens. But um, 
Yeah, like the I just like y'all y'all no good good no good and well that's not how the black guy would react to a gun being pointed at him like that. But hey, we're all different people, so I can't I can't say that for everybody. But personally, me, I would not be right there at that front door. My tail would be running a hundred mile dash. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be running eight miles back to the house. As soon as you say get off that porch and he pointing a gun at me, oh, I am gun. I used to be the fastest runner in my soccer team, and I will be the fastest runner in life. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this. It's about to be thirty minute. Um, thanks for tuning in, and watching, and listening. Um, and I will record another vid soon. Um, might be on New Year's. Who knows? Or it might be on, let me see, it might be when I also come back, when I move back in, you know, uh, to college. Because, you know, I go back the 8th and, you know, new things about to start coming up, challenges, we're going to get that going. But, um, yeah, let me stop talking. Leave y'all be. Uh, peace. Love. Peace. <laughs> Peace.